Alright, this little video is about circle okay. basics. So, <clears throat> we talk about a circle. What is a circle? Well, a circle is just all the points that are equidistant from its center. So what does that mean? Well, let's say we have a center of a circle. And there's a center right there. Um, it's actually all of the points that are the same distance from that spot. So if you're looking at the circle, you can see that all of its little edge here, all this way, all around the circle, is the exact same distance from the center. And that's the definition of a circle. This is all these points that are the same distance from that spot. Okay. So no matter if you're there, or there, or there, or there, all of those distance are, distances are the same length. That brings us to the idea of a radius. <clears throat> okay, so the radius of a circle is this little line right here. Uh, this little line, and it goes from the center of the circle to the edge. So that's exactly the definition. The radius of a circle is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge. And when we see edge. Really, we should call it circumference, but we really haven't defined what a circumference is yet, so we're just going to call it the edge for now. So the radius is actually this distance that we're talking about. So we're talking about the, the circle is the, is the points um, that are all the same distance from the same point. That distance is the radius, the radius of the circle. So from the very middle to the circumference of the edge. Okay. The next concept is the diameter of a circle. When we talk about a diameter, um, we have one right there. And this diameter, it goes you'll see it goes from one edge of the circle all the way across to the other edge, and it goes right through the center. So that's the definition. So a diameter is a segment that passes through the center of a circle <clears throat> and has its endpoints on the edge. Okay, so it has endpoints on the edge of the circle. It passes through the center. Okay, now we're talking about a uh, diameter and a radius. Um, a diameter is actually two radii. Uh, you don't say radiuses, that's in, improper, it's uh, called radii. So if there's more than one radius, it's called radii. So don't be confused by this little idea of radii. This just means more than one radius. So the idea is that two radiuses, or two times the length of the radius, is going to equal the length of the diameter. Let me show you this. Okay. So if we have this circle, <clears throat> and we know that the length from the center of the circle to the edge here is 12 inches or feet or whatever, then what is the diameter? So if we know from the center to the edge is 12, what's the diameter? Well, the diameter is 2 times the radius. Oopsie. The diameter is 2 times the radius. So in order to figure that out, what we do is do we do 2 times 12 equals our diameter. Because we know that 2 times our radius is going to equal our diameter. So 2 times 12 is, of course, 24. And if we're using inches, maybe this is inches. Uh, so 24 inches would be our diameter. Okay, so if we're talking about just this little portion right here, right, we add this portion here, and they're both the same. This is 12, and this would also be 12. Just like that. All right, the next idea is uh, the idea of circumference. Okay, and the circumference of a circle is actually the distance around the circle. Circumference is a distance around a circle. So if we have a circle and we go all the way around the circle and back to where we started, that's the circumference. Okay? And one thing that's very, very important about circles is uh, people always wanted to know, like, what is the ratio of the diameter of the circle to the circumference. Okay. So if we know the diameter of a circle, how could we find 
its circumference, right? So if, let's say that we know that this is like 10 or something. How do we know how big around it is? Well, uh, they kind of figured out that um, it's about 3. So about 3 of these diameters make a circumference. Let me show you. So we know that the ratio of the circumference to the diameter is about 3. But it's a little bit more than 3. It's this little, little bit more here. So the circumference to the diameter is actually equal to 3.14159 yada, 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 yada. And this number actually keeps going on and on infinitely. Um, people have worked out pi to a million digits and beyond, and it doesn't ever repeat. It's, there's no pattern to it whatsoever. It's a very interesting number. So this circumference divided by the di diameter, we give it a special name. It's a constant, and that constant is called pi. So this little symbol here is the Greek letter pi, and it stands for uh, this number, 3.14159, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So when we're talking about circumference, if we have a circle that, that has a circumference of 10 inches, we might want to know how far around the circle is that. Well, we can figure that out by using this simple formula. The circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. So circumference equals pi times the diameter. Okay, so knowing that, I can then figure out the circumference of this circle. So what is the circumference of this circle? Well, it's pi times 10. So we take this number pi, this 3.14159, yada, 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 multiply it by 10, that gives us the length of this right here. Okay, so let's say that we had some 10-inch uh, rims, and we wanted to put a piece of rubber all the way around the rim because we wanted to make a tire. Well, we would have to know how much rubber we need. We'd have to know how long the piece of rubber is. So if it's 10 inches across, we would need to know how long the little piece of rubber is to go around uh, this little uh, wheel that we're making. So, circumference is equal to 3.14159 times 10, and then that means it ends up being 31.14 inches. Okay, so that's how you could figure out the circumference of a circle. Okay, now let's look at the measurement of a circle. So the measurement is different than circumference because we're, we're actually talking about the same distance. We're talking about going around the circle, but we're talking about in degrees. So uh, the measurement of a circle is always 360 degrees. In fact, this is where we get the whole idea of measuring angles from and how many degrees an angle is, is because if we base an angle on a circle, like let's say I draw an angle inside of this circle here. Let me try to hit the middle. Right. If I draw an angle inside of this circle, it's like how many how many degrees of the circle is that? Well, um, we actually use a circle to determine the measurement of that angle, but uh, more on that on a later video. So the idea of a circle, though, is that it's always 360 degrees. Okay. Um, an arc is actually a piece of that, or a piece of the circumference. So, uh, let's say that we had this little purple section of the circle here, and we called it AB. Well, that's going to be arc AB. And we can actually use a little uh, shorthand for this, just like we used for segments and rays and, and triangles and so on. It's a little line, but the line is curved, just like the curve of the arc. Okay, so this is called an arc. And what an arc is, is uh, an arc is a piece of the circumference of a circle. Okay, so it's just this little curved bit just from here to here. That would be arc AB. Okay, so then looking at some arcs, what would a problem about arcs look like? Well, one typical problem would look like this. Let's say that we had a circle and we had arc AB. And let's say that uh, the back side of this circle, if you will, is labeled as 340 degrees. So let's say we had this, call it a major arc if it goes around the other way. Uh, this major arc that is around the back of the circle, and that's 340 degrees. Well, uh, and then we had the uh, the arc itself as being unknown. So, uh, how could we find the measure of uh, AB? Well, the way that we do that is we would take 360 degrees, the total of the circle, 
then we would subtract the 340 for this so we get the total around the circle then we subtract the yellow portion and that would give us the purple portion or 20 degrees would equal the measure of arc AB okay so those are some basic concepts about circles and we'll be practicing these very soon